I, I was really pleased with, with the way uh, we, we, we held our own, I thought, in the first half. I mean, this, this was a tough game. Uh, there were 31 fouls called in the first half and just, uh, you know, really a tough game to get a flow going and a feel for it. So I felt, you know, both Jan Hazlitt and, and Kelsey Minato really kept us going and making big plays. I think the free throws probably stand out more to me, you know, being, going 33 for 36. But I at the end, of the day, I just think their leadership and their ability to control the tempo of the game was huge. And, uh, you know, I can't say enough about some of our young post players, Stephanie Geyer in particular, just really did a tough, tough job, in my opinion, against, you know, arguably the biggest and, and, and very talented front line, you know, in Fiaco and Holman. It's pretty cool, um, but it was just how the game was flowing because with that high hedge, it kind of took me out of my game a little bit, so I knew that I had to be more aggressive if I wanted to get my shots off and contribute. So I just drove more and then ended up calling fouls. So. Oh, very, very much. I mean, they, they're very disruptive, and uh, you have to make a lot of adjustments, some subtle. The way you would come off ball screens, the way they were defending ball screens, they did a really – I thought they had a good game plan defensively. They high-hedged on, on Hazlitt and Minato. They forced them to take that higher dribble out. They recovered, uh, it's, and they did a good job on the weak side so that if we did try to hit the post slipping, and late in the game we were slipping our posts instead of screening, they were, they were running into a screen and then not making contact, slipping to the basket. They were open, but their weak side was there. And, you know, our posts need to do a better job of, of making better decisions. You know, we had a lot of turnovers and, you know, our foul trouble – I don't know what the answer is for Amy Ortner, and now Olivia Schretzman just seems to be picking up some silly fouls. We've got to adjust to the way the game's being called. If this is a preview in game one of, of an 18-game Patriot League schedule of the way games are going to be called, then we, we have got to adjust to, to that. And, and, and if we don't, we're, it's going to be like this. It's going to be an ugly, non-flowing type of a game. Um, with Lafayette, obviously their front line is very – very tall, very big. Um, they're solid up there, so it's important that our perimeter game was um, up to speed today. And I think that we did a really good job at not being intimidated by their front line, and we took it to them, and we got fouls on their – we got their big girls in trouble in the first half with fouls. And so I think that we did a really good job at still attacking them, not being intimidated. Um, I think that's what we needed to do today and not just be an outside team. So I think we did a good job today. It doesn't matter what like rank rank you are in the league, any team can come in and upset upset you. Um, so it's important for us to stay focused. Don't worry about outside distractions and just focus on one game at a time. And it's a long season, so it might be a bit of a challenge, but we need to do that. No, I'm thrilled. I mean, I again to to win the way we did with with the foul trouble that we had, and. Um, do the little things that we did, you know, make some plays here or there. I thought people came off the bench and contributed, you know, quietly here or there, you know, whether it was a play by a guy or a Danny Failer hit a big jump shot in the baseline at a point where they were starting to make a little bit of a run. And, you know, at the, at the end of the day, I looked at this. It, what's really interesting about our league and our team is our league right now is, is number 11 in the country in RPI, which puts us as the third highest rated mid-major conference after the West Coast Conference is eight and the Colonial, uh, which is 10. And when you look at the RPI, uh, Lafayette's the highest rated team in our league. They're, they're at 80, I think 81. We're 96 at number two, Navy's 102. And then after that, Holy Cross. So our league has is, is really arrived. I mean, and with the addition of Boston U uh, and Loyola, I, I think this league is, is, is really going to get better and better. So consequently, it's something i got to deal with. And, and the, the level of play, the level of the players is, is going to only get better.